having listened to the people of Guyana, as we always do, we hear a few consistent messages. People want immediate improvement to their circumstances, to where, you know, their day-to-day -day living experience. And if I were to give a few examples of some of the things that are clearly irritants to, to people that they would like to see addressed, Community infrastructure is a big bugbear. There are still many communities in Guyana where the basic infrastructure is still very much lacking. And so there is a big need for community infrastructure to be improved and upgraded. In many rural communities, many villages that you go to in Guyana, people want to begin with a passable street or road that they can send their children to school and their children don't have to take off their school boots and tie, it around their, tie, or tie, tie their laces around their neck because they're walking through muddy waters or potholes to get to school. In this modern day and age, no community should have to endure that and no school child should have to endure that. And that's our position. And so upgrading community infrastructure to make, to bring it at least to a minimum standard. You, you may not be able to build a world-class highway in every, you know, back street in every village, but to bring community infrastructure up to at least a certain point that, pe that people enjoy easy access. But not only roads. Flooding has historically been a big problem for people. If you are a farmer, or a householder who has to grapple with once a year or twice a year flooding, either flooding in your farm to, that decimates your, either your crops or your animals, your livestock, or flooding that inundates your home, destroys your seed paddy if you have a few bags, kills your livestock if you're rearing a few, you have a few chicken pens in the backyard. Um, uh, encroaches into your house and damages your appliances. If you have to grapple with that every year, it imposes a cost on you and, and a very severe cost on you. And at the individual and household level, for a person who has to endure that, that is the problem that they want to be fixed. We are committed to doing all within our reasonable power to start to fix that problem, better DNI structures, to facilitate better drainage of surface water, more efficient uh, storage of uh, surface water when it accumulates, better drainage and ir better irrigation for agricultural purposes so we can move water back and forth and so on. So a large part of the budget will be about addressing the main irritants, the things that affect people in their day-to-day -to -day lives today. Some of those are not big grand things, you know. Sometimes you get carried away with the big grand things and those are, the big grand things are important and we're not ignoring them or on, we're not unmindful of them. But a large part of the budget will be trying to, and not just budget 2023, a large part of this government's um, uh, policy stance revolves around addressing the problems and irritants that are faced by our citizens today.